Hi everyone, my name is Kenan Smith, Senior Engineer 2 at Ginkgo Bioworks and formerly Head of Capsid Engineering at Stride Bio. While at Stride, my colleagues and I brought together our combined structural and functional understanding of the AAV capsid uh, in order to try and tackle pre-existing immunity, tissue tropism, manufacturability, and other challenges in the AAV gene therapy space. Uh, and I want to talk to you guys today about the engine that results from that and some of the capsids that came out of it. Uh, the Strive engine utilizes the structural knowledge to identify areas of highest impact across the surface of the AAV capsid uh, with roots in modifying the AAV, G AAV antigenic surface in order to generate synthetic libraries of AAV variants. Uh, these libraries are then evolved through multiple animal species through a cross-species method in order to enrich for cross-species compatibility uh, in order to try and de-risk clinical development. Uh, the resulting platform enabled the discovery of a portfolio of promising capsids, many of which directly address the aforementioned challenges, as well as modulating other functional areas, such as liver detargeting, potency, and cell type specificity. In addition to these select candidates, the platform also resulted in a wealth of untapped library data across AAV capsid variants across different tissues and different species. Uh, and these stride bio capsids are currently divided into three tiers of development. The first tier includes fully developed capsids with extensive data that includes large animal models such as NHP and PIG, uh, and these capsids are ready to go for partners to match their desired indication or application. Tier 2 capsids have entered the first stages of testing and have demonstrated profiles differentiated from their parental backgrounds with initial in vivo or ex vivo data. Uh, these two tiers, Tier 1 and Tier 2, uh, exhibit a wide range of diversity in their tissue tropism with capsids targeted to the CNS, to the heart, to the muscle, to the liver, uh, and even to ex vivo targets such as T-cells. Uh, in addition, some of these capsids have exhibited potency higher than their parental serotypes, such as the Tier 1 capsid Strive 47, discussed at ASGCT last year. Uh, this capsid has been shown to strongly transduce the kidney and at higher protein expression two vector copy number ratios than the parental AAV, uh, indicating a more potent capsid. Uh, this last tier of capsids, Tier 3, is made up of capsid libraries and pre-existing evolutionary tissues from Stride Bios programs. This tier of capsids represents the largest well of untapped potential and contains variants ready for discovery and for development. Um, so with the, with the acquisition of these tiers, uh, we at Ginkgo Bioworks have access to an unprecedented depth of data around the structure-function relationship of the AAV capsid. Uh, we're uniquely positioned to take immediate advantage of both the capsids themselves in order to enable the ambitions of our partners across the gene therapy space, but also to use the data to continue improving the capsids for our partners. Ginkgo's institutional capacity for machine learning and automated high throughput screening will allow us to pursue and build upon the assets from Stride, utilizing our pre-existing work in the gene therapy space to expand upon the capabilities of the Strive platform. For instance, Ginkgo's ability to engineer regulatory elements may enable more sophisticated and refined applications of Stride's capsids with respect to tissue tropism. Um, so I want to take a second uh, and take an example of one of the capsids designed using this platform, the Tier 1 capsid Strive 5, and I want to discuss its unique characteristics. Uh, so Strive 5 in particular was selected for its cell type specificity, liver detargeting character, and manufacturability. And this capsid has been extensively vetted for its biodistribution and expression in mice, pigs, and NHPs with multiple transgenes. So the data you can see here, uh, which is discussed at AASGCT 2022, uh, shows Strive's ability, Strive 5's ability to broadly target the CNS after ICM delivery in NHPs, uh, but specifically to target neurons over astrocytes, uh, as shown here by Nguyen and M-Cherry co-staining. When we uh, characterize this transduction via M-Cherry ELISA, we also see that the Strive 5 capsid produces up to tenfold more protein than the wild type AV9 capsid in areas such as the premotor cortex and cerebellum, despite a lower vector copy number in those areas, again, indicating a more potent capsid. In addition, Strive 5 has also exhibited up to a thousandfold lower transduction by vector copy number and protein ELISA uh, in the liver after both IV and ICM administration, data represented here again by IHC. So higher potency of transduction in the CNS after ICM administration coupled with lower transduction uh, in the liver is exactly the type of safety improvement that Ginkgo is looking to unlock through the refinement of Strive Bios capsids. Uh, and then last and certainly not least is manufacturability. 
So Strive 5 Capsid has exhibited scalable manufacturing with over 10 transgenes uh, and has produced high purity vector from R&D grade up to GMP phase one and two. Um, so the selection of high yielding capsids is actually a built-in component of the Strive platform, as we've mentioned previously. Uh, and these efforts really neatly complement Ginkgo's successes in engineering the other components of AAV production and its manufacturing systems. So in total, with this acquisition and continuation of the spirit of Stride Bio's work, uh, Ginkgo has now realized its ambition of a, fully, a full stack shop for AAV gene therapy uh, from caps, capsid and transgene through manufacturing. Um, thank you guys very much, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the talks.